How about you? Do you treat people the way you would like to be treated? I do, but then I constantly feel disrespected because they don't reciprocate that energy and that's what frustrates me. Like there was an instance where I was at a store and I was returning something from the store and I just wanted to make sure that I would get my money back from the employee that I was talking to and she assured me that everything was gonna be fine, I would get my money back and then after the fact, I didn't get my money back and they were gonna give me store credit and that just upset me because she gave me false information and I was yeah. respectfully telling her, can I speak to your manager? Can I speak to anybody that I could speak to? Because this is unfair that I was promised by an employee that I would get my money back and I am not gonna get it back. And then eventually I was there for like two hours. They never gave me my money back and I walk back to my car. My mom's waiting for me in the car and I just start crying because I treated them with respect. I was nice about it, but I still didn't get what I wanted in return, and that just upset me. And then my mom, she's like, you're getting your money back. So she storms into the store, and she, <laughs> and she, she, I just see her yelling at the person that I talked to. And then she comes back four minutes later, and she's like, you're getting your money back. And I just feel like to agree with um, the lady who said that sometimes you can't be nice to get things done. Like, I saw that in my mom. Like, she had to act out in order to get that done. And me being nice about it, I didn't get it done. And so I just agree. And I do come off very rude sometimes just because I, I, want, I, want, I want it to get done. And I've been in situations where it hasn't because of the fact that I treated people with respect and I treated people nicely and they just didn't do it back. And it just gets frustrating sometimes. <laughs> And so now that you see your mother go in and be all tough and come back in four minutes with the money, are you going to be acting out more now? No, because that happened years ago. I feel <laughs> just like I want to be true to myself and who I am is I'm kind and I see people for who they are and their worth. They're God's creation and we are all the universe's creation and I feel everybody's beautiful and everybody deserves respect and to be seen as humane and as somebody who's just understood. And it's been really hard to stay true to that because a lot of times I just, I'm just like taken advantage of or I'm seen as naive or it's just. And so you are a nice person? I try to be, but I just get frustrated sometimes because not a lot of people are nice back to me. And I want to, and I want to like, I guess sometimes I do fall into reciprocating that energy because it's not fair. Yeah. And are you a nice person? I am a nice person. I treat people with respect. But you, are you nice to the people that are not nice back? I just ignore them or I just try. But then I feel it just gets bottled down and then that's when I, like in instances where I may not be nice, it comes out because I'm just holding everything down yeah. when people spit back in my face when I'm being nice to them. So even though you're not overreacting to them, you're holding it, keeping it in, inwardly you're saying all kinds of things about them. You're calling them names and everything, right? I was just like, it's unfair. I'm, I don't... I mean, there's, I, there's probably a reason why they're upset. Maybe they had an instance before, and I know it's not about me, but it just sucks. I don't call them bad names in my head, though. But inwardly, what are you holding in? Just the fact that I feel belittled or I feel not seen. Oh, okay. And who is feeling that way? Myself. I'm sorry? Myself. And who, who, who are you? I'm still figuring that out. You what? I'm still trying to figure that out. <laughs> You're trying to figure out why do you call that yourself then? I don't know. I feel like I'm not really me. I feel like a lot of times I'll just stick to society norms because it's easier yeah. to fit in rather than to stand out and be me. Absolutely. How old are you? 23. You're absolutely right about that. You're just sticking to what society said. And society is wrong. It really is. Nobody loves you. Your mama don't love you. And she loves everybody. <laughs> 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 
your daddy don't love you, you don't love you, your friends don't love you, you have no love. What do you think about that? Um, I could agree because I feel a lot of people can't see things past Speak up for selfish. Me. I just feel people are selfish. So I feel like they try to, but they can't because they haven't maybe loved themselves. And, and why do you feel that way? I see it in my parents a lot. Yeah. And you see it in you. It starts with you first. You're selfish. It's all about you. If you don't make me happy, I'm not going to like you. Isn't that right? Yeah. Yeah. And that's how your mother is. That's how everyone you know is. How do you feel seeing that? It's hard. In what way? In the way that I understand why I get frustrated because I see people around me get easily frustrated. And, yeah. And then it's, it's all I know. Yeah. Um, and then it just gets me frustrated because it just should be different, but it's not. That's amazing. You're 23? Yeah. You're on the right track. You know something is wrong. And you see something going on that's wrong. That is the beginning of overcoming that. At least you're not going through your whole life thinking that things are right and then trying to make them be your way and all that kind of crap. You know that something is wrong. Um, what is it like knowing that your parents don't love you? It's hard, but I still love them because I'm not trying to treat them how they treat me, and I'm trying to believe in what I believe, and it's that everybody deserves a chance to grow and a chance to be a better person each day they wake up. They deserve a chance? And who should so. give them the chance? Themselves. Yeah. Amazing. Do you want to be free today and not have to care about any of those things ever? I would and, like to be free. Yeah, and let the world go crazy on its own, let everybody else be crazy, and you are sane in, a, in, a, in, a, in your own world? Yeah, but it's just hard to watch because it's hard to see everybody else on fire when I'm trying to put mine out. Yeah, but it's hard for you to watch other people on fire while you're trying to put your, other, your fire out. Why is it hard to watch? Let them burn. Why is it hard? <laughs> It ain't got nothing to do with you. Yeah, so I, I struggle with that. Why is it hard for you to that? see other people on fire? Because I want them to see what I see and that there's a chance to free yourself from what we think is right, but... Why do you want them to see it? They don't want it. And you don't, you don't see God forcing them to change. He let them burn in their hell, right? Right? Yeah. So why do you care? If God doesn't care, why do you care? And that's what I have to let go of if I eventually want to yeah. be as free as I'm dreaming of. Absolutely. You shouldn't care one iota about somebody else's hell. When you see people in hell, you should go, what the? <laughs> they are in hell. They love their hell. They want to be in their hell. And it's not your responsibility. And if you try to help them in their hell, they'll pull you down into their hell. Yeah. Because some people's minds are so cold and their hearts are so wicked, they don't want heaven. They just want hell. And they'll roam the earth to see whomever. They'll do it to their own children, their own friends, their own family. They'll roam the earth to find out who they can pull into their hell. They don't care about you. Because evil is evil is evil. It doesn't have, it's nothing but evil. It has no love. That makes sense? Yes. So you got to stop caring about that. Just don't be angry at them. Wish them well. And you can see that they're in hell. But don't try to save them. We can't save anybody from, from their hell. That makes sense? Yes. So stop caring today. It's like going downtown and feeding the homeless. Like they have a homeless mission, right? They go feed the homeless every Sunday. And, Saturday, and then after they feed them, they pray to them and preach to them. And then the homeless go outside while they're preaching and break into their car. 
and they so proud, they fed the homeless, and now the windows are broken, cars stolen and everything. You gotta let people be in their hell and don't care what I owe them. When you care, you're playing God. And they're gonna drag you into their hell. That make sense? Yeah. So, and plus caring about it is not normal anyway. That's an abnormal state of being. Have you noticed God doesn't care? <laughs> Had you noticed that yeah. before now? Huh? Yeah. And what do you think about the fact that God doesn't care that human beings are in their hell? He doesn't care that they fight over racism. He doesn't care that they fight over material things. He doesn't care that they rob, steal, rape, and murder, uh, molest little children. He doesn't care that husband beat wives and wives beat husband. He doesn't let them do it. He's like, what the? <laughs> He's not up there feeling sorry for them or anything. And neither is Jesus. They're having a nice cup of wine after breakfast with some cafe mocha. <laughs> and they're looking at the world go around, and that's what you have to do if you want to be free. And you must be willing to be alone to be free. Don't try to bring the world with you. And you're 23, you're right there. It's so amazing you're saying this. I'm blown away. Um, have you forgiven your mother? No. If you want to be free, you got to forgive her. She has recreated you in her image, but you don't like her image. You're an individual, you're not your mama. You got to forgive her for being so crazy. So like when she went in that store, she went off and, and did all that, that was evil. That make sense? Yeah. Had you, have you heard you need to forgive your mother? Yeah. And why have you done it? It's just hard when she's constantly... Speak up for me. Speak from the chest. It's hard when she's constant, she doesn't change. And I'll try to tell her and bring her with me on this path that I'm on, and it just frustrates me when she doesn't want to hop on the train. Oh, you can't go on this path with anyone else. You can't bring anyone along. You can't bring your kids, your parents, your dog. You have a dog? Yeah. Oh, God. <laughs> Leave that dog behind. <laughs> <laughs> this is one path that no one can take another person. You must drive it alone. And so your mother don't want to travel with you, leave her to hell. And you don't, you don't need her to apologize or anything. You must forgive her so God can take her identity away from you so you can finally grow in wisdom grow as an individual, then you'll be able to deal with the whole world in a perfect way. You'll be in it, but not of it. You will have perfect peace. But you gotta forgive your mother. And don't expect her to apologize, because she's evil. You notice how evil she is? I can't hear you. Yes. She can't help it. Have you met her mother before? Yes. That's who did it to her. She became like her mother. What does your father say when you ask him to help you? What does he say when you ask him to help you deal with your mother? Mm, I don't. You know what? I don't ask him for help. Why not? Um, I, I don't think he would agree with me. You don't think what? I think my dad is also a reason why my mom is the way she is as well. I think she caters to my dad more than she does to her kids. Is he weak? Mm -hmm. Yeah, but he doesn't try to come off that way on the outside. But he is weak. Yeah. And your mama know that she's kicking his butt. He's afraid of your mama. Isn't that something? Yeah. How do you feel knowing your father is afraid of your mother? Um, it's just ironic, I guess. Ironic? Mm -hmm. It is ironic. Whatever that mean. <laughs> <laughs> what does that run at me? It's just funny, I guess. Yeah. Have you, how, you're 20, you don't date, right? Um, no. Have you ever dated? Yes. And were the guys you dated or a guy weak like your father? Yes. Yeah, and, and how did you feel about that? Um, I explored women. 
So what? I explored women. You explored women? After that, yeah. By re so resenting that your boyfriend was weak, you explored the women, you say? No, I just turned to, like, dating a girl. Oh, because the guy was too weak? Uh, just because guys are very, just like my dad, I guess. Yeah, and my, it's the same as dating a woman. Oh, yeah, I've learned that, which is why I don't date anymore. <laughs> nice. <laughs> <laughs> Well, I want, you, I want to encourage you to work on yourself. Forget about dating men or women, right? Because you're doing a, you can see, you're on your way. So from this day forward, just work on you inside, and it'll be at, you'll be fine. That, that makes sense? Yeah. So forgive your father and mother for being weak. They can't help it. And don't try to bring anyone on this path with you. You must travel it alone. And don't feel sorry for anyone that don't want to change. Your parents, your cat, your dog, your friends, they don't want to change. You'd be glad to see that so you, can, you don't want to be a part of their hell. Because they'll keep you in hell. Have you noticed that? Oh, yes, they will. Yeah. So don't feel sorry for them. To feel sorry for them is playing God, and you're not God. Any questions about that? No. Amazing. What's your first name? Alyssa. Alyssa, nice name. Good to meet you. Any Thank questions? Thank you. No. And how did you find out about us? Uh, my sister. That's your sister? Yeah. What? No wonder. Amazing. Well, good. I'm glad you're here. Thank Have, you. I, did your sister tell you about the prayer, the silent prayer yet? Yes. Have you tried that? Yeah. And what do you think about it? I, I like it. You like it? Are you doing it every morning and night? Not anymore. What's it? What made you stop? Distractions. Yep. And that's what the devil wants. He wants to distract you from the light. He doesn't want to lose your soul. So he'll, he'll try to distract you in your mind. And he'll put people in your life, in your life to distract you. Because the last thing he wants is to have to depart from you. But if you stay with the prayer of wise, he will have to depart. And it's going to be a, there are no words to express how that is. All right? Yes. Amazing. Well, I'm glad to meet you. I'm glad. I'm uh, here. Nice. Wow, that's amazing.